ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the desert glad to have you back i hope that you're all doing well guys in this time of turmoil economical political societal date dating a turmoil and all that but the important thing guys is that you are here i am here and women being unable to pick a good man for the life of it are here as well so let's take a look guys and for article stories we have an alpha widowed woman and also a chat sends by mistake a naked picture of another woman to one of his side dishes so we'll take a look at that but now before all of that let's get started with why you need to date medium ugly men let's have a listen the reason why you're single and miserable is because you're dating men that don't want to date you. Like this, or like this. That's the type of man that doesn't even want to take you out on a second date. That will keep you trapped in a situation for the rest of your days because he's so emotionally unavailable. These type of men know exactly what they look like and they know exactly what they're doing. You end up lonely and miserable as a woman, taken advantage of. If you only Guys, what was the name of this actor? Was it Chris Hemsworth? Uh, it's, it's Thor, right? I just can't remember if that was the actor. But I love how the examples that she gives... <laughs> Are literally multi-millionaire stars all right like you couldn't pick some attractive guy from the internet from google stock pictures to make your point no you had to bring up literally the most attractive men on the entire planet you know what i'm talking about they speak about high standards guys they cannot even make a case they cannot even give an example without citing literally the top one percentage of men hilarious you only date him because he's so hot, so good looking, so flirty. You're so attracted to him. It's dumb because you're making yourself vulnerable to be taken advantage of by somebody who knows damn well that he is good looking. He also knows that you're probably not the only woman that thinks about him that way. So instead, if you actually want to be happy and confident and satisfied and also still attracted to the men you're seeing, you want to kind of go for the low-key ugly one. Be smart about your choices in men. Great option. Another great option. Also amazing. It's literally screaming golden retriever energy. Also cute. Cute will sleep with you once you fall in love with him and you will never hear from him disgusting video guys even the cute ones who supposedly aren't as attractive are like this guy adam was it adam i can't remember well the actor from star wars which is a very good looking man you know and this is the cute ones all right this is the uh, not so handsome but uh, they're cute <laughs> again talking about the literal one percentage of men on the planet Guys, it's, it's absurd, all right, what these women are doing. It's just absurd. And notice how they refer to basically all of us, all right? Everyone watching this right now, if you're not Brad Pitt, you are what this woman considers a medium ugly man, all right? You're not that impressive. I, she doesn't care that you hit the gym. She doesn't care that maybe you look better than 70% of men around you. Not enough, you know? Like, their standards keep increasing by the day. We used to say 20%, then we used to say 10%. Some guys say women are attracted to the top 5%. Wouldn't be surprised, guys, if it reaches the top 1%. We wouldn't be surprised if at some point there's only one guy on this whole planet eligible to date these modern women. <laughs> it's just absolutely absurd, guys. So, my question is, would you settle... For, for these women that view you as medium ugly men because that's what you are for them guys you are you, you are a walking wallet for them right you're an atm machine that is medium ugly but well you provide things so i'm gonna be with you even though i don't respect you at all but you're like my plan b until the moment i see a plan a and cheat on you and then divorce you and take away the kids Jeez. but now gentlemen let's move on to another woman so I dated 50 guys in three years and not only did it break my soul, but I wrote an article about it for Medium. It's a really fucking long article because it goes through each of the 50 guys, but I'm going to try and give you the TLDR for a bit of backstory. So 50 guys in three years, that's like 18 per year. So a little over, what is it? A man and a half. Yeah, a man and a half uh, per month this woman dated. So three, three men in two months and it broke her guys. It broke her. Dating 50 guys broke her. Now, of course, she's not... Uh, no, guys, she's not married, all right? One of those 50 didn't make the final cut. Uh, she just got her behind blasted by all 50 of them and nothing came to be. But yeah, she is broken from it. Are you surprised, guys? Now, personally, I thought that the more you date, the more experienced you are, the more you learn about yourself, the more you heal... Uh, past trauma you know that's what i thought guys that the more you date 
uh, the better wife you will be. But it turns out this woman dated 50 guys and it broke her. Oh my. <laughs> when I started dating these guys, I had just come out of a year long relationship with a really great guy who really cared about me. Um, but our values just did not align on many, many things. And I just knew we had no future. So. Oh, well. Can you imagine your ex-girlfriend? Like, you know, in, in today's day and age, guys, you, you break up with your girlfriend. And I'm sorry if you have a girlfriend and you're picturing this right now, but it's just the truth. You break with a girlfriend and chances are the moment you break up with her, she's going to go on a journey to eat as many wieners as possible and to get absolutely destroyed by all the chads in the neighborhood, in the country, in the state, whatever. Right? It's just what it is. These women, they get out of a long relationship and immediately they jump to dating, they date 70 guys, they get crushed by all of them. Very sad. Oh, but my guard was down because I'd just been in a trusting relationship and I was not ready for what awaited me in the single world. So the first guy was someone I met in real life and my friend was dating his friend, so they set us up and he seemed amazing at first. He was like a hopeless romantic who really wanted a relationship. Um, and we had like three really nice months until he just turned cold as fuck and turned out he was just a compulsive liar, um, emotionally unavailable, not over his ex, the mother of his child. Um, but I was already attached to him by that point, so I found it really hard to cut him off. And we had this whole push and pull thing for like nine months. And then eventually I cut him off for a year and then stupidly went back and the whole thing happened again. And all in all, it took me like two and a half, three years to get over this fucking guy. So. We didn't get off to the best start. The next guy was somebody that I met on Tinder and we had a few nice dates until he ghosted me. There were massive red flags with him. He started trauma dumping on the first day, telling me about how his dad used to beat him and his mum up and all sorts of bad things. Um, he eventually ghosted me. So that was the end of that anyway, but he did- LOL. <laughs> Getting ghosted by the biggest red flag is a massive L for these women. But gentlemen, word of advice, don't share with women. I'm not saying don't overshare. No, I'm saying don't share with women, all right? Tell this to your homies. Tell this to your brothers. Tell this to me in the comments if you want. Women, they don't need to know, right? Especially when it's your first date. They never take it the, the right way. They see you as vulnerable. They see you as weak and pathetic. So don't do that. But gentlemen, <laughs> let's continue with uh, the type of men she chooses because this is very telling pop up a few years later and his life was still in chaos like his mum was recovering from cancer his granddad was dying from cancer and he told me that his ex and his best friend had just run off together and he also told me that he was sleeping with his therapist because his therapist had tried to blackmail him so yeah this boy was just chaos and that one was never gonna go anywhere number three was a guy that i met on tinder and we went for a walk in the park um bearing in mind this was all in lockdown so our humor just did not gel on the day and it made the whole thing awkward he was really nice looking but again he was just another one that started trauma dumping on the first day like he told me how he'd been hospitalized for alcoholism and how his sister had all these gambling issues and had like been stealing money from the family and all of this stuff um and after our date, he actually didn't speak to me for a few days. So when he eventually did pop up, I just used that as an excuse to be like, nah, we're not, I don't want to go out again. He actually popped up a whole year later as well and asked if I wanted to go out and I just said I wasn't dating. Now you guessed it right, gentlemen. A lot of these comments left by women are, girl, you deserve better, queen. Oh my, the state of dating, the bar is so low, men today, blah, 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 crying and whining. But if you ask me, all right, you have a person who's went on 50 dates and none of them work. What does that tell you? You know, like at some point, do you ask yourself the question, could it be me? You know, I have selected these 50 men out of my many options. Could it be me that is making the wrong choices? Or am I just spinning a roulette that has a 50% chance to land on a bad boy? And I've done that 50 times in a row. What are the odds, gentlemen? We're talking about some gambling hitting the jackpot percentages you know but but they don't have the accountability they just don't have the the, the mental uh, iq it takes to realize that they are the common denominator 
the fourth guy, he was somebody that I met on Tinder and I did a FaceTime date with him because I decided to start vetting these men before I actually met them. Um, and I was glad I did with him because on the FaceTime, he told me that he doesn't have any friends. And when I was like, oh, well, who do you hang out with? He went, oh, well, I just hang out with whatever, whatever girl I'm dating. So yeah, that was massive red flags. So when he asked to go on a date, I just politely declined. The fifth guy was someone I met on Bumble and I met him right as me and the first guy were ending for the first time. So I was like fucking heartbroken and probably shouldn't have been dating to be honest. But this guy was like a really nice person and had his life together it seemed. And it was just someone I, the kind of person I knew I should be dating. So I decided to give it a go. Um, the attraction wasn't really there because he was so nice. I was just hoping it would come and the sexual attraction definitely was not there. Um, and he also was depressed and he used to make jokes about unaliving himself a lot and... Well, there you have it, guys. She's already addicted to anxiety. It's been four dates. On the fifth one, she's already addicted to anxiety because she's dated four bad boys and now she doesn't want the nice man. Uh, he was nice. The, the chemistry... The chemistry is not there. Notice when they get along, the chemistry is not there. The chemistry is always there with that type of man who doesn't give a crap about her. Already addicted to anxiety, point of no return, it's over, you're for the streets. Like, this is why we keep constantly repeating to these women, your past matters for your future. This is why a lot of these men are dismissing them, wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Oh, you've been with this many people? Bye. Bye. Don't care. No, but I can be a perfect wife, I've done my healing journey. No, no, don't care. It's always the same, guys. They are addicted to anxiety, alpha widowed. Uh, terribly broken and devastated, their, their trauma dumping. It's horrible, right? And I love how she mentions that on af after the fourth date, she started, um, what did she say? Like weeding out the bad ones, you know? Like she started actually um, selecting more precisely the sort of men that she's looking for. So, so that is on the fourth date. You mean to tell me after that, after she supposedly started to weed out the bad guys, she's went she's went on another forty six dates that were unsuccessful. <laughs> it's just a circus, guys. Modern day dating is a circus. So uh, we will leave it here because, guys, this video is eight and a half minutes long. All right, we we've reached the fourth minute. We're gonna leave it here. But tell me, do you want to see the second part? Uh, because it will be more clownish behavior but now gentlemen talking about being addicted to anxiety and alpha widows let's move on to our article stories as our first one it's titled guy i've been dating accidentally sent me a snap of a half naked girl in his bathroom i 35 female have been seeing a guy 30 male for about a month so far he's made me feel safe and dotted on his words have been backed up by his actions so far, and I've been feeling really secure, which is something I haven't felt in a long time. Red flag. This past weekend I met his best friends and his niece, who he introduced me to, jokingly, as her future aunt. Or aunt, I don't know, aunt, I don't know how you pronounce that. Which isn't the first time he's joked about a future in some way or another. Whatever, anyway, after texting all day and making plans for a date, he accidentally sends me a freaking snapchat of the back of a girl in her thong, standing in his bathroom with the caption, God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> this was definitely meant for his friends or something. What an absolute moron. I responded, who is that? Once he realized what he did, he immediately blocked my number. I am so beyond hurt and disgusted. We were really progressing towards a relationship, so I thought, yeah, you thought so. <laughs> it's not even about the girl, as much as it's about how little he valued me this entire time. Has this happened to anyone? How did you deal with it? Update. Since I screenshotted the Snapchat photo he sent me, I went ahead and did some deep PI work, found her on Instagram, sent her the pic of herself, and now we are both pissed. <laughs> He completely played us and she's going to his house tonight to confront him. I cannot wait. Well, gentlemen, uh, I'll start off by saying that, of course, the male behavior in this is disgusting. Sharing naked pictures of someone who were sent strictly for you is disgusting behavior. And playing people like that is also disgusting and manipulative. I don't need to say that. I think we can all agree, right? I wouldn't advise anyone to do this behavior. What really gets me here is notice how 
He's not playing just her. He's playing another woman. And there's probably more. It, it's so funny, guys. These bad boys have multiple women wrapped around their finger. And all of these women are absolutely infatuated with them. Sending them naked pictures. Uh, thinking about the future with them. They are so infatuated with them. Yet these same women are the ones who have like 10 guys on their DMs who are actually interested in them, you know? It's so backwards. They dismiss the men who care about them. And all these women, guys, all these women, they flock towards the, the, the very select few numbers of bad boys. You know, you, you can have a, a, I don't know, let's say a group of 100 women. These 100 women, guys, will probably all, all of them, be sharing the same five chads. <laughs> all right. They don't care about the other 95 men, which is the current state of dating, which is why so many men are alone. Uh, so many men have decided to dump dating altogether uh, because that's the situation. Yeah. So even though, yeah, this guy is bad, I'm not defending him. I'm just saying you are to blame. All right. And this is probably not the first time she's done this. These women, guys, they chase these sort of men constantly. And you see that multiple women are being played by the same dude just because he was born attractive. Very hilarious. But now let's move on to our second one, guys. And the title reads, I dated the most beautiful men I have ever seen in my life. So I guess she's talking about me. I don't know. Uh, and now I can't get over him. I met him on a dating app and we dated for three months. I was catching feelings, but he only wanted a casual relationship, so I had to let him go. <laughs> so the usual. He is the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life, and I'm afraid I won't find somebody as attractive as him. No notice what they talk about, guys. It's all about the looks. Now, Ironically, when we cover these women and we ask them, what do you want in a partner? They make these long ass lists of like 50 to 60 demands uh, with no, but my boyfriend, if he does this or if he doesn't do this, massive red flag and this and that. And they're very selective. No, no, no. It comes down to attractiveness in, in dating, especially in dating apps. So in dating apps, it's 100% only attractiveness. But even... It, outside of dating apps it's mostly attractiveness guys don't let them fool you with this oh men are so visual so superficial we women are not like that no you are equally as that or even more so i continue now not only was he handsome he was very nice too so after handsome she mentions nice for my sanity i stopped following him on social media but sin uh, since his accounts are public i can't help to take a peek once in a while to remind me how beautiful he is I think his account is public, and this is probably a guy that has a large following. I can only assume, uh, but probably like this very attractive, tall, muscular Chad that has money and has fame, and and and, and he can he can play women like thirty five at a time <laughs> without problem. I can't help to take a uh, peek once in a while. Yada yada. I still have my dating apps, but it has been very difficult for me to find people in there attractive. I don't know what kind of dark magic that man did to me, or what Agua de Calthon he gave me. Uh, I'm so tired of being this obsessed. So, uh, I'm gonna drop more um, lore about me, guys, but I know Spanish. And uh, I, as a 4,000 year old mummy, I know many languages, but I, I, it was between the choice of should I pronounce this wrong on purpose so I don't give up the information that I know Spanish or yeah, F it. So I know Spanish. I've never heard this phrase though. Agua de calzón. <laughs> what? This is the first time I hear this. So I don't know guys. Do, do, you, do you know this? Uh, what does it mean? But anyway, going back to the article. Um, it's, it, look guys, you can't compete against the internet. This is the main talking point. You can't. These women, they're addicted to anxiety. They're alpha widowed. All of them have been, well, most of them, have been dating so much that it's impossible, guys. You cannot make a relationship with them work, uh, even if your life depended on you. You can't. It's it's over for them. Like, this is what I mean. You cannot compete against the internet. You may be very attractive. You may be over the average when it comes to hate. You may uh, not hate, height. Uh, you may have a massive schlong, all right, uh, beneath your pants. 
Doesn't matter. There's always gonna be a guy that is better in some concern. So what these women do is they... I was gonna say date. No, they sleep uh, with or are in a situation with 75 people and then they expect the next guy who is going to be their relationship to be better than all these 75 people in the aspect that they were the best at, you know? So now she's looking for a man that is more attractive than this one. And if you want to date her seriously, she's going to want you to be more attractive than him, more intelligent than her ex, uh, more wise than her previous ex, uh, more loving of animals than her fourth ex. And then the, you, you, there is this list of 75 people that have been through her legs. You have to be better than all of them in every aspect. Or she's just not going to respect you. And she's going to bring back how that one guy from five years ago was actually better than you and treated her better in this one aspect. You know, it's Im guys, it's impossible to date them. This is why uh, a woman's past matters. It is absolutely telling of the future. And this is why men are dismissing women left, right and center because of their past. As we should, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but I'll leave you off here. What do you think about the video? What do you think about uh, the article stories that we read? And gentlemen, let me know a uh, trivia question. Do you prefer me? right now like you know settle down calm hey guys how y'all doing wholesome or <laughs> do you enjoy more the videos where these women sh uh, show the worst in me right where they get on my nerves i mean I, I don't do it on purpose right it's just i make these videos as they come uh but i have this duality when it comes to behavior so which one do you prefer let me know down in the comments guys thank you for making ampus day better and i'll see you in the next one have a good one